On the Foodie This Week, we visit Ko at the Intercontinental Mumbai to meet the man behind the brand, Chef Ian Kittichai. Hello and welcome to the Foodie. In our pursuit of featuring and profiling super chefs, this week we're going to Thailand. No, no, no. We're actually in Mumbai at Ko at the Intercontinental, and the chef we're going to profile is Ian Kittichai. He is a master Thai chef, worked at every big restaurant in New York, London, Thailand, Bangkok and Barcelona. And he's here in Mumbai and is going to give us a feast, a lesson and a taste of some exquisite Thai food. So let's walk into Ko and meet Chef Ian. Namaste, I'm Ian Kirishai at Ko in the Marine Drive. My favorite cuisine other than of course my Thai cooking is the Indian food. I love Indian. Some actually run into the kitchen and then just want to meet me and then that's really honor and then uh, I think it's more like compliment and then that's just really just a great thing that's um, happen, you know, when you get a compliment. I'm a really simple person. Um, always want to try the new things. Middle East as well because of it had so much flavor and then they have their own unique kind of food. I love the uh, European food and also Moroccan. Good food according to me is the uh, simple, basic and I think there's nothing more than that. So here he is, finally, Chef Ian Kittichai. Chef. Hello, how are you? Thanks for coming on the show. Thank now, you so much. Now, this man, he's worked in the best restaurants in the world. You worked at George V. You worked at El Bulli, of all places. You've been called the golden boy of Bangkok. How did it all start? My mom has the uh, green grocery. Okay. So I had to um, drive the truck like 2.30 in the morning when I was 14 uh -huh. because to help the family and okay. then uh, we're not rich. and. And then I uh, slept in the car and then she woke me up again at um, 5.30 in the morning, drove the truck back full of the food and vegetables, meat and fish. Okay. Then I placed in front of the house, go to school, came back, mom make 10 different kind of curries. Huh? And then I have to push on the push cart, go around the neighborhood and selling. So mom used to make curries at home and sell them yeah. on the streets. This is where? Bangkok? This is in Bangkok. In Bangkok yeah. itself? Yeah. yeah, that's how it started. But then how did it happen? I believe you went off to learn English. Yes, yeah? in England. It's like after two days arrived in uh, London, my friend offered me a job and said, well, you know, you want to work? And I was like, no, I can't work because I can't speak any English. <laughs> and I was like, no, don't worry, you don't have to speak, just watch. <laughs> and then I was like, okay. Then uh, this was my first job. Then um, one day before I went to school offering uh, well, the chef actually asked me to help one of the restaurants at the Waldorf Hotel uh, mm -hmm. called The Brasserie. Mm -hmm. And then he said, well, Ian, can you help? Because of uh, one of my cook uh, didn't show up today, she was sick. So I was in the kitchen uh, with the uh, uh, server uniform, white top, black pants. Mm -hmm. The manager came in and asked me if I want to be a chef. And then I was like, I want to be a chef. I was 16. And I was like, I said, I don't know. And then he said, if you want to be a chef, we can send you to school. To culinary school? To yeah, to cooking school. And then uh, I was like, wow, that's great, you know, send me to school. I was like, yeah. I don't have to take the money for my mom. And then I was like, yes. So I uh, did the school for the two years there, moved over to Australia, continue my apprenticeship. Like, well, you know, I think I um, should com continue my cooking school and everything and then I decided to become a chef. So then from London you go to Australia, Australia, you go back to Bangkok. I actually end up in Bangkok, work yeah. with the uh, big hotel chain, uh, Four Seasons mm -hmm. Hotel and I was there for 11 years. Mm -hmm. And you became the first Thai executive chef of the yeah. hotel. Yeah. So this is your menu and I just want to quickly go through the menu. This menu is not only a good selection, it also is... iPad. It's also an iPad. <laughs> Koh means island and uh, you know as the Bombay here 
Ko as in Ko Samui. Ko Samui, yeah, we call it Ko Samui. So I Ko PP, yeah, yes. We ride in front of the ocean, and then uh, so we like to, you know, let make, let's make it like Thailand, and then it's like Ko. Ko. So I'm feeling very cold now. You're feeling yeah. very cold. I think we should head straight to that side and cook up some great Thai food. All right, then I'm ready. Let's go. Okay, so we are ready yeah. to, to experience some of the artistry of your fingers and what are we going to start with? Well, uh, basically, of course, you have to have the uh, green papaya, which is the secret ingredient. Okay. Um, you know, uh, what you do, uh, cut them, slice them, you know, into the... Uh, now, this is a green... Papaya. So, it's a raw papaya? It's raw papaya. Mm. You know, and then uh, what you can do after you cut them, slice them, you can soak them in the cold water. Okay to get like really refreshing, crunchy, crunchy. that's the thing. Then you can add, um, um, not for the color, but you know, usually nowadays on the street of Thailand, you can get carrot as well. Okay. So we put the carrots in. One tablespoon of uh, soy sauce. So I'll put one tablespoon. And then it will be one tablespoon of the uh, lemon juice or lime juice, as you prefer. Then um, we have a, uh, a touch of garlic, just a tiny bit, so you don't need so much. Then of course the palm sugar. Palm sugar. Palm sugar actually gives a really smooth, like velveted flavor. Yeah. So when you tasted it, if you don't taste like white sugar at all. Okay. Actually one chili here. So what I do, I'm gonna mash them just a little bit here. And not make them very spicy. And then be careful as well when you eat the uh, Thai chili, of course. Uh, when you see it, sometimes you don't see it, okay. you know. You just put it in your mouth and just like... Yeah. <laughs> then, of course, give the uh, acidity. What I do, i just going to slice a little bit. Okay. And then... Uh, just, just squeezing them. Squeezing them. Okay, so cherry tomatoes sliced mm -hmm. and squeezed. Just squeeze them. You have spicy, you have sour, you have salty. Now... And sweet. And then sweet, and then now you get, you're getting the uh, crunchiness. Okay. So this is the... Uh, uh, long beans, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna put a little bit of um, peanut. Okay. I'm gonna put the uh, papaya. And papaya. The so what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna work on with the uh, my hand, mm -hmm. and then uh, you know just mix it in. Mm -hmm. So you because you want the flavor to be in there. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. Street style. Street style. Ko papaya salad. Ko papaya salad. And you've got these crunchy raw papayas with all these flavors happening in them. You've got the soya, you've got the garlic, you've got the peanut, and of course, the chili. <laughs> I'm going to eat this at the table.